Da 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 And I apologize for that. But I'm so excited. It's a new Star Wars trailer's out. New Star Wars trailer. Oh, okay. Okay, calm down. It's just a minute and a half long teaser that made every Star Wars fan get a lightsaber in their pants. But I'm going to be professional. I'm going to be professional and talk about the first trailer for Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Um, hmm. This is a short trailer, so I'm just gonna, like, basically describe what we've all seen in the trailer. I apologize for this review being late. I recently got a new job, and I've been basically in prep for it, so th that's not the case. I'm here to talk about the new Star Wars trailer, and just talk about what I saw. So, the trailer opens up in the desert wasteland of what we assume, what we know is probably Tatooine, because... Tatooine doesn't look any different than it did in the first Star Wars movie or any of the other movies. Um, we see... We see the kid from Attack the Block pop up, like, so intense, um, dressed in Stormtrooper armor. Um, then it cuts to black. We see a little astromech... What appears to be a little droid on a ball. It has an astromech head, but it looks like it's on a soccer ball just rolling around. Then we cut to black again. Then we see stormtroopers, um, real armor stormtroopers, not the CG clones from Revenge of the Sith or Attack of the Clones, um, basically gearing up and prepping for battle. Then we see another character, um, a woman, I forget the actress's name, uh, she takes off on a speeder bike in Tatooine, again, because we gotta have Tatooine in Star Wars. And this is the point where I want to point out something uh, that I noticed in those four shots. Practicality. As much, one of the biggest things that made the prequels kind of not so good is that a lot of the things were CG. A lot of things that really didn't need to be CG. I mentioned the clone troopers in Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Sith. Even the main clones were CG. And it made you go, what's the point? There are many other points in the prequels that were unnecessarily CG. I'm not talking about so much the worlds, but some of the sets were CG when they probably didn't have to be. Uh, it just felt really artificial. So looking at these first four shots of the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer, you can tell that they're going for something a little more practical, that they are taking the time to build the Stormtrooper armor. They're taking the time to build these little things that could easily be CG, and I guarantee you with that shot where um, the girl is taken off in that speeder, I guarantee you that probably was held onto a rig that they just edited out uh, in post. But that's one thing I like. I love the practicality that this movie's going for. Then we see what we assume is Oscar Isaac from Inside Lewin Davis as an X-Wing pilot. And we see, with the classic X-Wing sound effects, them f floating across the waves. Similar to what I do in Star Fox 64 at the beginning of the level. I just like to fly really close to the water. But that's exciting to see the X-Wings. And then we see... Um, a mysterious figure who pull out a red lightsaber with two little lightsaber guards that come out of it. So like, obviously there's a lightsaber here and then there are two guards right here and right here. Uh, we assume he's a Sith and everyone's talked about the, uh, how stupid the, the lightsaber guard looks. But really when you think about it, it's pretty smart because you, your chances of losing one of these is low. And plus, Stephen Colbert already uh, schooled everyone on it, so I don't need to say anything that he's already said. It's got a cool voice, which has been confirmed to be Andy Serkis, although I could kind of tell it was him before it actually was official that it was him doing that voiceover. Talking about, have you felt a awakening in the Force, the dark side, and the light? And then the point where every... Star Wars fan got a lightsaber in their pants, regardless of gender, is when we see the Millennium Falcon fly into the air, do a 
spin, like running towards TIE Fighters or running away from TIE Fighters, play to the iconic theme, the most iconic theme in film, that dun 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 Oh, even if it was only a minute and 30 seconds, it still looks pretty amazing. If there are any gripes I had, it's, I'm not, this is me being not as knowledgeable about the expanded universe, like the events that happen after Return of the Jedi, but what purpose does the Empire have being back? Because we see TIE Fighters, we see Stormtroopers, it's pretty clear that the Empire is back. I mean, the Rebel Alliance is still around because at this point they're the New Republic as far as I'm concerned. But again, I don't know too much about the Expanded Universe, so somebody could correct me. That's one thing that I'm kind of questioning, but that's the job of this teaser, to question things before the movie comes out. And the other thing that really bugs me is that we gotta wait till December of next year to see this thing, and it's too long! I want my Star Wars now! Uh, whatever. Hopefully Avengers and Jurassic World will satisfy me until then. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the new trailer for Star Wars Episode 7. I think it looks spectacular. I think it will definitely be better than the prequels. Um, not as good as the original trilogy, though. But given the fact that J.J. Abrams made a great Star Trek movie that pretty much was a Star Wars movie in a way, I'm glad that he got the job for this. Um... I, it's just, it looks like it's going to be awesome. And that's pretty much what I have to say about the trailer. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought of it. Like, subscribe, check out my video blog channel. You can follow me on Twitter at AlexG8462. Go like me on Facebook slash TheRealMrRobinson. And follow me on Instagram at TheRealMrRobinson. And you can also check me out on Geeked Out Nation. This is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one. See you guys later, and may the force be with you.